my grandma is Aretha Franklin. Well, hey, <laughs> stop right there. Hi. Um, I'm Claudia Conway. I'm 16. Um, my parents are high-profile political figures. My mother is Kellyanne Conway. She worked for Donald Trump. And my dad is George Conway. He's a lawyer. He worked against Donald Trump. He's here with me, though. Wow. wow. It's, it's a lot, but, you know, I only want to spread love, and I love a compromise, and I do agree to disagree with my mom and my dad. I had to move to Washington, D.C. when I was 12, and I hated it. When your mom's working for the president of the United States, who you very much disagree with, it's really hard. And I love you back. With your mom being the figure that she is, do you still, like, does she still hug you? <laughs> I mean, yeah, she loves me, I love her. It's just, I feel like our relationship's a little, it's a little iffy. Most of my life, my feelings had been suppressed. Yeah. So then I got social media and I was like, well, damn, now my voice is being heard, you know? You're gonna do great. Thank you, Dad. Thank you. And you got me right oh, oh, what you Okay, stop. All right, that song, you lost it. I did, yeah. You I was did. just a little nervous in my That's shoes. That's okay. A little... Take your shoes off. So, there you go. what other song do you have? Um, when We Were Young by Adele. Okay. When you sing this next song, think about when you were young and go back to that time. And there's a sadness there. Mm -hmm. It's like you lost your youth. Because if you sing like you want to read the social media comments afterwards, you're only ever going to be a TikTok star. Yeah. We want an American Idol. You know, I, I couldn't imagine it, anything that would make her happier than to do this. So, and, you know, gets to you. <laughs> You've obviously been through a lot as a young girl, and you've obviously been in the spotlight. And you know what? You're singing like a 16-year-old, which is great. The second song was much better. Yeah. Because you showed where you could actually take coaching, understand that the fear factor just left you for a minute, and some qualities of your voice came through that I was really impressed with. You need to get off your phone. You need to stop reading your comments. Yeah. Push it aside, because if not, you may not ever rise above your dad or your mom. It's your choice. Let's take a vote. For right now, I'm a no. I'm a yes. Thank you. I think what you're doing right now is stepping forward and announcing who you are. Mm. 
uh, you chose music, I want to give you a shot at music. It's a yes for me. Thank you. Okay. Well. Claudia, not going to D.C., honey. You're going straight to Hollywood. <laughs> Hi, um, I'm 15 and I'm from Detroit, Michigan. Detroit, Michigan. So tell us about your journey. How did you get here to us? Um, my grandma is Aretha Franklin. Well, hey, <laughs> stop right there. That's your grandma. I was really close to my grandma. I got to see her all the time. I used to travel with her a lot. What you no one knows this about your grandma, but I'm going to tell you. When you walk in the house, you think, oh, we're going to talk music. We're going to talk about the arrangement. And she go, Lionel. I got some collard greens I've made. <laughs> I don't think I could fully grasp the fact that she was known worldwide, because to me, she was always just grandma. Oh my God, you are from a blessed family. Thank you. I have many messages on my answering machine that I kept. You know, it's just, uh, anyway, <laughs> I could talk about that forever, but. Is it true she kept a little pistol in her purse? No. <laughs> she did keep her purse by her all the time. All the time. She's on her way to the stage, and she carries her purse on the side of the really? stage. Oh, no, no. What's in the purse? The money. <laughs> the money? The money. <laughs> Even better. I love it. <laughs> wow. She picked up the money. So tell us what you're going to do for us. Um, I'm going to sing Killing Me Softly, the Lauryn Hill version. It's true. Wow. Here we go. Strumming my pain with his fingers Singing my life with his words Killing me softly with his song Killing me softly with his song Telling my whole life with his words Killing me softly You have to be a nervous wreck. The reason I know, you sang with your eyes closed the whole time. It was just all a little sleepy and subdued to me. It was soft. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, have you ever done anything this big? No. <laughs> this is a huge deal. Yeah. I've been preparing for it my entire life. So I think I'm ready. Look, you got the DNA. Do you have any other songs? Um, I have Ain't No Way. Feels appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> Stop trying to be someone you're not. Hard, cold, cruel is a man. Pay too much for what he got. And if you need me, like you say, say yeah, you do. Say. Love me, babe. You can do it. Babe, don't you know? your rendition of your grandma's song. <laughs> your runs are really, really great. I mean, when you do your runs, they're really so great. So controlled. They're very controlled. 
the only thing that I'm feeling is, I think if you add command to your moment, it gives you a better chance to make it through some rounds in this competition. I'm gonna talk to you now as Uncle Richie and your grandmother talking to me. Her line was, if you're not ready for me, baby, don't come near me. Now, you're 15. You've got the family lineage, okay? What we need to put now is time and some work in to get it up to par, okay? The age and the voice have got to all come, come together, together. Mm -hmm. and uh, on the same path. All right, well, let's vote. Luke? For right now, I'm a no. Grace, I think you have stardust and sparkle all over you. You are beautiful. And if you'll trust us, if you'll listen to us, and you'll put in the work, I think we can find that next level with you. You're a yes from me. Uh, Lionel? Grace Franklin, I love you. And I think the best thing for you in life is to take a shot at going backwards. Go back and get a running start and come at this again. Are you putting pressure on me? Listen, she's got stardust. Give her a shot. Give her a chance. I'm sure Aretha wasn't Aretha when she walked into the room, but somebody said, yes, I want to work with you. I want to develop you. You got something. There ain't no <laughs> she's got stardust on her. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. If you go and come back and put the shyness behind you and the voice in front of you, you are going to be something amazing. And I don't want to be the one to make you tip over and fall at this infant stage. She's not. She might be a little shy. I will lay down on the ground. I quit this show. I'm going to the bar. Oh, God. Oh, God. I was still a child. Something wrong with your ears. Katie. Y'all are insane. You know, you know. You have to understand. Glad I went first. I know you were very lucky. I did not see this coming. I saw this one. What I chose to do. Grace. So go easy. You know how I feel about your family and you. But I don't want this to be a crash and burn. Okay, it's gonna be a no for me this time, but an optimistic come back and see us, okay? But right, can I give you a hug? Because I have to do this. I love you so much. But make that work, okay? Just put the work in. You can deny how hard I tried. I, I think if my grandma was in the audition, she would have been proud of me for even trying. Mm, how are you? Hi. This is a dream. This is so <laughs> Good. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us who you are. Uh, my name is Emmy Russell. We have to what? turn you up some more there. Whoa. Emily Russell? Emmy. Emmy Russell. Emmy. Emmy. Uh -huh. And where are you from? I'm from Nashville, Tennessee. So tell us about yourself. Yeah. Um, growing Other than up... being quiet. Oh, well, growing up, I have sang music my entire life. So I just love writing. Um, I'm 24 years old. OK. And uh, yeah, songwriter. I love music. Where do, you, uh, where do you sing? I don't really sing out as much anymore, but Growing up, I sang on the road with my, my grandma's a country singer, so I kind of grew up like Who singing. Who was your grandma? Uh, Loretta Lynn. Oh, uh, well. Your grandma is <laughs> what? Oh, wow. Yeah. She's one of the biggest country music singers of all time, but to me, she's just my grandma and growing up on the bus and all that was very normal to me. That's so awesome. Cool. Isn't yeah. that interesting? Yeah. I think there's a reason why I, I think I am a little timid, and I think it is because I want to own my voice. Yeah. And I want to own it. I understand. But yeah. I, I, yeah. that's why I yeah, want to yeah, challenge yeah. myself and come out here yeah. and, like, really yeah. step in and be like, okay, come on, Emmy. Like, well, Emmy, Grandma was a, a, a great singer, but she had her own style. She did. Right? She did. Yeah. If you got your own style, yeah. then you got your own lane. Yeah. You know? Well, what are you going to sing for us today, then? I wrote a song called Skinny. It's about eating disorder, so. Okay, go ahead. I hope you like it. 
Why do you think she was so nervous going into this? Because she just wanted to do this honestly. This is who I am, and this is what I do, and this is my heart. I think that when you come from a musical family, the shadow is so big. How do I fill those shoes? Well, the deal is, you don't. You make your own shadow. Haven't eaten in days. God, I hate how you made me. So scared to confess. Been so hard to undress lately. These oversized t shirts don't work like they used to. Sleeping on scales, it's just what I'm used to. Haven't eaten in days. God, I hate how you made. So I took a trip around the world to hold the hands of orphan girls. Saw the war, felt the pain in miracles in his name. But I just want to be, I just want to be skinny. Oh gosh. <laughs> Emmy, you're an a plus songwriter. Thank you. So is your grandma. You <laughs> yeah. got the gift. Thank you. Thank you. I don't think you need to compare yourself to what grandma was or you're totally different. Yeah. You shouldn't give yourself all that pressure. I think you came in like a mouse. Okay. A baby mouse. Yeah. A baby mouse. <laughs> okay. What's your name? Emmy Russell. I can't hear you. Emmy Russell. And I'm from? Nashville, Tennessee. I still can't hear you. My name is Emmy Russell, and I'm 24. I'm from Nashville, Tennessee. Boom. That's who you are. There you go. Right there. <laughs> yeah. My dear, you have promise, and I like your promise. Each one of us is trying to battle something that we're trying to overcome. In your case, you have big shoes. Now, if I can just get you to put those shoes back in the closet, yeah. that's not your size. We just got to lift you up and get you more confident, and you just need Thank to you. own it. Yeah. Emmy, I'm a yes. Wow, okay. Emmy, it's a yes. I believe in you. Okay, what is it? <laughs> my name is Emmy. Gosh, my name is Emmy, and I'm 24 years old, and I'm from Nashville, Tennessee. <laughs> and you are going to Hollywood. Hollywood. I'm so excited. I'm giving you a yes to. <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> Very grateful. I was thinking about my grandma, but I was also like, Emmy, she's with you. Now it's your turn. I think I'm more like her now than I was whenever I was trying to be like her. What's your name? My name's Camila Galaviz. Camila Galaviz. Uh, where are you from? Um, I'm from Venezuela, but I live in Miami. And how old are you? I'm 14. 14. You're 14. Is she your youngest? The youngest. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And you're in school, you're a sophomore or? I'm a freshman in high school. Holy smoke. God, my son's a freshman in high school. What's going on with my life? <laughs> <laughs> and you come from a big family or yeah. musical family? Um, no, my dad, he's a manager in the social media industry because he was on The Bachelor. Ah, and you mean the TV show? Yeah, he on was on ABC? The yeah. Who's your dad? Juan Pablo Galaviz. Really? <laughs> Juan That's Pablo your dad? Galaviz? Yeah. Did your dad meet someone on the show? Um, yeah, but they broke up. So he's single? Yeah. He's dreamy. Wow. I smile. Hello. There you are. What's going on, man? How are you? Hey, man. <laughs> How are you? How are you? Good to see you. You're single. You too? No. <laughs> I know you're not. Hey, good to see you again. Juan Pablo. Hi. This is your daughter. She's Wait. Big now. It's been 10 years, so. She was four. When, she was four? Yeah. But you know what it's like to be on television. You're trying to throw her in this lion's <laughs> den? Not really. <laughs> I try to hold as much. Whose idea was this? She's been singing since she's little, you know, and the opportunity came, she wanted to do it. And I say, I don't know if you're old enough. That was last year. They say, well, maybe next year. And then 
here she is. So here we'll see how it goes. Spoken, spoken like a true dad, hypnotized. Do you mind singing in front of him, or is it making no. you more nervous? No, that actually makes me feel a little more comfortable. Really? Do you want to sit by the piano? Yeah. I'll, I'll sit here. You stay right on the oval. I'll sit here. I will sit here with you. So it's fine. <laughs> Sounds like a plan, man. Just make yourself right at home and on ABC. <laughs> um, okay. Well, Camilla, what are you gonna sing for us? Um, I'm gonna sing "Rabia" by Joaquina. Okay, go ahead. Noches de verano, atardecer en la autopista, vacilos en la radio, tus canciones favoritas. Cantábamos a tu pulmón, te acuerdas, o oh, solo soy yo. Sé que seguro ella a ti te da miles de mariposas. Le dices que te encanta su sonrisa cuando posa. Anoche me metí en tu perfil, fue por chismosa. Estabas tan feliz y bueno, ella tan hermosa. Así que ve a decirle a todo el mundo que yo sigo en el pasado, que en cada Que mis celos me han ganado Llámame egoísta, mentirosa No te culpo para nada Quiero estar feliz por ti Pero me da rabia <laughs> So good. He's got a good voice. It sounds a little young. It's very, like, got lots of personality. It's very youthful. I'm just looking for some of those notes that could come out and really compete with the other contestants. Luke, what do you think? Love your confidence. Love your personality. It's very listenable. Your voice very is... Very pop. It's very pop. I think your biggest hurdle is the big high notes are still giving you a little bit of trouble. I mean, you're so young. I just don't know if it's ready yet. I agree with Luke a little bit here in terms of experience. Well, let me say one more thing. I think the right producer right now could take your voice oh. and cut a hit album on you right now. But in this competition, I think you're gonna get swallowed up a little bit. Let's vote. I'll go first. I'm gonna give you a, a no, but take the time and develop it. Katie? I think you have a very accessible voice. It, yes, it needs a little bit of stretching. You've got a pop voice. I mean, the biggest growing genre in music Market. is Spanish Market. music. You are authentically that. So it's a yes for me, and it's down to Luke. These people have way more experience than me, and if I make it, I'm gonna be very happy. And if I don't, it's fine because I'm still young, so it's like, I'll be fine. Well, here's what, I wrote no on my page, but then I told you the right producer could make you a hit song. So I'm giving you a yes. Wow, wow, wow. Just based on that, because you've got a radio tone. Listen, oh. Camila! Come on, please. Listen, you've got a lot of work cut out for you. And I hope you guys... You <laughs> barely made it in. Can I give you a hug? You're, You're going, going to Hollywood. Hollywood. I am a mom first and waitress on and off for like six years probably and, uh, and a musician. I've been singing for as long as I can remember. I was always in the school plays. I'm a huge ham. I always like to be on stage. <laughs> My dad is Jim Carrey. <laughs> it was definitely fun growing up with him as a father. I mean, he's not the most extravagant celebrity, so it's been fairly normal. <laughs> fairly. Everyone growing up has kind of their issue with identity and trying to find themselves. It is difficult kind of growing up in the shadow of something and trying to find your place in the world underneath this huge shadow. Father's bigger to your daughter. The last name definitely helps and hurts. I, I feel like there's kind of like this pressure to maybe be better because if I make it somewhere, I run the risk of people saying, oh, you only got there because of this. Sometimes that actually makes me worse because I'm too nervous to be good. I think that's also why I'm here too, just to um, make uh, 
I don't know, make my place in the world. <laughs> does father know you're here? Father does know I'm here. <laughs> Who's father? My dad's Jim Carrey. Oh! The great I Jim Carrey. Jim. I remember you when you were little. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember me? I was one of the Fly Girls. I think I was like two. You were so little, you were a baby, <laughs> oh my God. Jennifer Yo. When did this happen? Yo, come on, man. Oh my God, this is crazy. Okay, what are you gonna sing, baby? Um, how about something to talk about? Yeah. Uh, I like that song. Okay. People are talking, talking about people. I hear them whisper. You won't believe it. They think we're lovers. Maybe they see it. Something we don't, darling. Let's give them something to talk about. Oh, I like you. I like the voice. I like the potential. I like the two. I like the sound of your voice. I think you're good. I think you need to think more about performing. You close your eyes a lot, you mm -hmm. know, and, and that's all good for the feeling of it, but you still got to connect with your audience. And you yeah. got you to make us feel something when you're singing. You know what yeah. I mean? It's not just about having a pretty voice, which you do have. Yeah, you got good melody, but you got to work on the volume. Like, you, you know? Okay. Yeah. Let's think about Steven Yes or No. Oh, please. Yes. I want to see more. Yes. Yes. Hollywood! Hollywood! Jane's in Hollywood. Jane ain't going to Hollywood. Yeah. yeah. Tell Father we say what's up, man. Good. Tell him holler at the dog. <laughs> she did a great job, man. Oh, she's so wonderful and amazing to me. So I can't wait for the world to understand what she has in her. She's on her way. Surreal. Everyone's in tears here, so it's a good moment. Well, hon, way to go. Well, Thank you. Fantastic. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be an exciting year. How are you? I'm good. I'm Kaya. Nice to meet you guys. This is my dad. I'm Dave. Nice to meet you. Dave Stewart, who is accompanying me today. Hi, Dave. How are you? Oh, my God, blast from the past. Oh, I'm loving this. Music has been a part of my life since before I was even born. My dad was in a group called The Eurythmics. Darling, the sun is When I was born, you know, my dad was on tour, and we I was going to shows when I was still in my mom's tummy. Plus, I'm going to tell you something. We were inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame together, and it was an evening that we will never forget. It was amazing. amazing. Thank you very much. And yeah. just to have you with your daughter, I think, is so cool. Yeah, yeah. I do, too. <laughs> the musician's lifestyle has been something that's just been a part of my life. There was never a question of what I wanted to do with my life. It was just that was always going to be what I was going to do. With all the different opportunities and connections and stuff, how did you even land at American Idol if this is the right choice? I mean, a huge part of me even coming on was getting to sing my own music, which is, I think that opened like a whole new world for me looking at American Idol. I am singing a song today that my dad and I wrote together. I wouldn't want to do it any other way. It's really yeah. a great feeling that this is now the creative destination for, for artists. Totally. American Idol is such a huge deal for me. I'm just really excited. I'm nervous, but I'm excited. <laughs>
Dave, I have to tell you... This I, is I, much I, more difficult than being inducted in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. You effect. know what is it's true? It's it so is. true, man. It is. This is more nerve-wracking than anything we've ever done in life. <laughs> it is. Oh, my God. That was great. Thank what do you, you think, so much. Lionel? What do you think, Lionel? I mean, it's hard because he's like your brother. We're in the same family. Here. Be honest. I'm going to tell you the truth because <laughs> truth is what we are about. So, yeah. first of all, for the songwriting part and the, and the pressure of being here, I give you so much props. Thank you. And the fact that your dad showed up, I give him props. Yeah, right. I mean, there's a whole lot of props here. Yeah. But in the midst of all of this, you slayed it. I mean, you, oh, thank I, you so I, I, I love the tone of your voice and you're an artist. You're really an artist. Thank you. You know, this is a tricky competition, but I totally think you're worthy to go jump in the mix of all this. You know, you can tell that you've grown up on the stage, around the stage, and you put in the stage presence side of it. I mean, you were comfortable and delivered it. Yeah, I thought I thought it was great, and looking forward to potentially hearing some more stuff that you've written. Ooh. Thank you. Look, I love that little flip in your voice. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I'm gonna get this tattoo removed when you flip into it. Can you do it one more time, just up there? Um, I'm gonna get this tattoo removed. That's the sparkle stuff right there. <laughs> the thing about us is we get really technical with it. And I'm sure, like you know, we're gonna probably be a little bit more nitpicky with you because you're good. And also you understand it. Yeah, you know yeah, the business. Yeah, yeah, and the understand. business is real. Let's vote. Okay. I am a yes. All right. Yes. Hallelujah, yes. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. What's your name? My name's Shannon. I'm Shannon McGrain. How old are you? I'm 15 years old. You're 15? You're 15? Yes. Now opposite. Six yeah. foot tall, size 11 shoe. Wow. <laughs> okay, tell us about yourself a little bit. Well, actually, I am a volleyball player. I, um, that makes middle sense. hitter. How'd you get into sports? I mean, is your family into sports? Yes, my dad is actually, he was a pitcher in um, the World Series, 1987. Wow. What? Um, What's yes. his name? Joe McGrain. Wow, get down, dude. For what team? <laughs> Um, Cardinals. He's, he's St. Louis Paul. Cardinals. Nice. We're gonna have to meet them in a minute. Yeah, man. Yes. Can I bring them in too? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Go get you know. Oh my God, can it really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sister. This is my sister. Sister. This is my family. Yeah, yeah. Sister. Mom, my mama. Mom, hi. This, is my <laughs> this looks like my family. Hi. All girls hi. and the dad. Hi. Yeah. One guy. Sure. Yeah. Series. World Series, no, still the World Series at all, and left-handed. Nice that's right. Yeah. How's, how's things in Beantown? Oh, great, beautiful, yeah. hot, humid, and happening. Absolutely. Yeah, Pleasure just like your daughter. What a beautiful family. All right, what are you gonna sing? All right, I have something's out of hold on me by Etta James. I don't know if you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I get a good feeling, yeah. I get a feeling that I never, 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 never had before, no, no. And I just gotta tell you right now that I, I believe, I really do believe that something's got a hold on me, yeah, yeah. Something's got a hold on me right now, child. Let me tell you now, I never thought this could happen to me. My heart was heavy when in misery. I never thought it could be this way. Love, you're gonna put a hurting on me. I said, whoa. All right, all right, all right. We were like vibing and rolling with that one. <laughs> uh, so, Mom, you were singing every word. Are you a singer? I'm not. I hear it, and I have to turn it down off. It ricochets throughout the house. Dude, you are cool with your family, no nerves, and you're ready to go. <laughs> nerves of seal yeah. at 15 with your mom and dad and all your friends? That is hot. That's yeah. crazy right there. Nerves of steel, this girl. Yeah. To not care enough mm -hmm. where your voice has to come out, that's the secret. Yeah. And that's what you did. Shall we vote? I say yes. Mm, I say yes, too. I say yes, too. Yes, <laughs>
Dad, you got to come and help out the Dodgers, dude. Can't happen soon enough. <laughs> right. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck, Shannon. What I love most about my hometown is the musical energy there. Aretha Franklin recorded at Fame, and my grandfather also has a recording studio there. You know, it's just really cool knowing that you're doing this because I did it, and I did it because your grandfather was doing it. I'm so glad my dad's going in there with me. I think my nerves would be like 10 times worse. What's up? Hi. Who are you, girl? I am Cadence Baker. Cadence Baker. Cadence. Yes, sir. Where are you from? I'm from Muscle Shoals, Alabama. Muscle, Muscle Shoals. Shoals, Alabama. Come yes, on with sir. me. Is this your dad? This is my dad. This is Shane. Good deal. And my grandfather is Gary Baker. He actually wrote I Swear. Yeah. I swear. Yeah. The judges see that I am my own artist and I do have what it takes. That's a family legacy, babe. Mm. What made you want to come try out American Idol? I want to go beyond what my grandfather and my dad did. You will. And, huh. <laughs> what are you gonna, uh, what are you gonna sing today? I'm going to be singing I'm Your Baby Tonight by Whitney Houston. Wow. Ooh, wow. Let's hear it. All right. moment I saw you, I went out of my mind. Well, you got it, you got a way that you're making me feel. I can do, I can do anything for you, baby. I'll be down for you, baby. Lay all my cards out tonight. I'm hurry. We can fly on it, baby. It's your Not fair. I know. People come in all the time with guitars. You came in with a professional guitar player oh, that happens to be your dad, <laughs> and he had such a pocket. <laughs> oh my God. I mean, dad, I'm giving <laughs> you like. Dream bam, come true for bam, him right here. I'm gonna cry now. <laughs> I know, no man, no oh man. I mean, that pocket was so tight. Lionel, man. And then oh your daughter God. just stepped right in the pocket. I love it. That means the world to me right there. Katie. I just want American Idol. <laughs> <laughs> Guitar playing, I'm telling you, it works. Yeah, a lot of people come in, they go, well, I'm yeah, going to yeah. sing I'm Your Baby Tonight by yeah. Whitney Houston. Yeah, right. And in my head, I'm saying, all right, well, see yourself to the door. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. Thank you. Yes, it was really good. I think it was even maybe just a little low. I think you could have gone higher. Mm -hmm. I think you got so much you gas got... in that tank. Mm -hmm. I think you got a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. I think it's one of the best auditions I've seen. I think, I mean, I wrote potentially top 10 down. <sighs> Write this day down because it's a dead gum special one for me. That was awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you so much. Lionel. Yes, hallelujah. Katie. It's a yes for me. It's a yes for me. <laughs> You're a star, and stars go to where, kids? Hollywood! <laughs>
There you go. Congrats, congrats, congrats. Thank you so much. I am filled with emotions right now. I want to cry, I want to scream. I am just so happy that I got a golden ticket. <laughs> Tonight, your top ten are trying to win you over again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> are you okay? She's okay. Are you all right? <laughs> She's all right. She's all right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> get, her, get her there, you go. Know. Phil, take it from here. As hell Bye, with Katie. mermaids. I love it. I love it. Wait, Katie, what? Katie, what? What? Katie, what are you doing? What do you guys do late at night for fun? Cow tipping. <laughs> what are you doing? Move. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> We're <counting. laughs> Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. We're tired. It's late. And I'm counting. <laughs> you can't unsee that. I'm so sorry. You know what? I should have let Lionel do his first counting. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Who is Megan, rattling the, the dance? What the hell's going on? Sorry. Who is that? Thank you. That is enough. Who is that? I. Jill. Who is that? <laughs> hey, hey. Are you good? What the f is that? Y'all, come on, come here. Get this, take him, take him out of here. Oh my God! Luke was telling me a story that when he's in concert, yes, that uh, in Australia, he, in Australia. He w was given a boot of someone in the audience and asked to pour a beer in it. No. Shoey. No. It's called a shoey. Yes. Learn something so, new every no. day. What a you got slippy. down there? No. 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 Oh, we got oh, the no. 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 I didn't know Snow White drank vodka. Snow White does what she wants and she's got seven maids to help her. Melt in your mouth. Won't let you down. The cheese. That was so nice. I enjoyed that, Lucas. <laughs> and Katie has to sneeze. You have allergies you got, today. You got sick. No, I've got a cold. I'm just gonna stick this up here. Not There's no up. days off in Katy Perry land. Never has there been a day off. Awful. Awful. You think that you guys are just Jeff gonna... Awful. Lounge when you make it, forget about it. Oh no. Sing firework with that in there. She's supping for Baby, you're a firework. Well, you know, when you're watching stuff go on behind the scenes that you know is completely off the cuff and just happening, you kind of have to be ready 
for you know something to go wrong or you know, but at the same time you got to stay the heck out of the way. I don't think that they knew that we were actually getting them because Katie said it as a joke and then we were like hey here are these roller skates go have fun and then Katie and Luke just start going and security's like well, are we supposed to follow them? And they're just kind of going everywhere. Everybody's watching, but it was just a really fun, like genuine moment. So Katie's, you know, skating around. She takes a little spill. We're, you know, a little worried, but you got. I mean, she's such a great person to to do stuff like this. It's like you know, we we're panicking behind the scenes to make sure that she's okay. But she's she's tough. Good lord, your dream boat. <laughs> yeah, my eyes lit up. What's your name, Dreamboat? My name is Trevor Holmes, and I'm, <laughs> I'm 27 years old, and I'm from Thousand Oaks, California. What's your story? Do you work? I'm actually doing construction right now, which I'm not fond of, but I'm doing it to help support my mom. She suffers from lupus, so I'm a part-time songwriter, part-time construction worker, wanting to be full-time musician, uh, but sometimes you got to pay You're the bills. You're so hot. Oh. <laughs> You're like, this isn't real. <laughs> no, I mean, here's the thing. First yeah. of all, like, only hot guys are typically named Trevor. Is that right? Yeah, well, that's like one of the names. Trevor, he's hot. He does construction on the side, and he loves his mom. I do, very much so. Um, Trevor. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Don't call me ma'am. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just, I respect you so much. And... Don't respect me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't respect me. She don't want you being nice. <laughs> don't, respect me. don't respect me. <laughs> oh, thank you, God. <laughs> so, so I have a gift for all of you. Heck um, yes. This may be weird, but I kind of have a sock obsession. I wore my lucky socks today. What's weird have... about a sock I... obsession? Exactly. That's why I'll give you more. <laughs> well, we'll take them. I okay. mean, my God. For Lionel, I have... Skeleton heads. Well, of course. Because, you, because you know you're a killer, me well. man. So I'll take that. Yeah. And you've, you've heard about me, right? I have. <laughs> I have cats, and one of them's shooting lasers out of its eyes. Oh, I thought, nice. I thought that would match you very well. Yes, I, I love cats, and I love yeah. Katie cats. And and it, yeah, these yeah. are the socks for you. Roosters. Roosters. Country. Cock a dang doodle doo. So, so, who are you? What's your name? Uh, my name is Zach D'Onofrio. This is my first Stop audition it. ever. What are you? Well, six. <laughs> That's awesome. Can you show me one of yours? I'll show you one of mine. Okay, here's one of mine. Okay. I can quote the entire movie of Mean Girls from start to finish. <laughs> no, it's like, it's, it's like gross that I can do that. No, it, I mean like really. No, like truly. I could start wherever you want me to. Well, mine was not like that. Mine was more awful. Do you want to see it, Lionel? I'm afraid, but yes. Okay. I'd love to see it. So you can quote Mean Girls. I can look like a frog. Do it. It's disgusting. You can like, look I can like a frog. Faces. Nobody's going to want to make out with me or any of that. Well, who cares? Right. Oh, my God. Wait, no, 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 just look. No, it's no, you horrible. Come Ready? No, come, come to us on this side. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Ribbit. Oh, God. It's a tree frog. Yeah. Touch it. Here, touch it. Oh, this is bad. This is. Oh, say <laughs> that. What are you doing? Stop it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Anyways, it's not it's about really weird times like that. That definitely didn't get me there, but it's probably going to take me out.